you are all welcome in this lunch of fellowship. Also that uh, the honor that you have shown to God, may he also honor you with great things, mighty things, that also you'll be surprised. He is not a respecter of persons, and he cannot lie. He is not man that he may lie, neither son of man that he may repent. Has he spoken, and he cannot do it? Has he promised, and he cannot fulfill? That is Numbers 23, verse 19. God is faithful in chance. He will give you exactly what his word says to them that fulfill. I'm called Moi Isaac. I'm a saved. Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I'm the pastor of this church. We meet here on Sundays. And uh, we are glad to know that uh, Christ is doing great and mighty things. What I know that uh, Christ hakukuja duniani aanse kire ambasho munandam angefulahia. Babu, the desire of the flesh, the desire of men is to do as the world is willing. But the desire of God through his Holy Spirit is that we may do his will. That's why Jesus said, don't think that I came in the world to bring peace. But I came to define the mother and the daughter, the father and the son, them that believe and them that not believe. There's nothing like, uh, like what is being told. Come on to Moja, last year, that the Bible is an uh, outdated book. And they are planning how to bring a book that will satisfy everybody in the world. That is a book that will be, ac be according to the will of the devil, but not God. Today, as I said yesterday, that uh, we are looking about Christianity. For Christianity is a kingdom. We are a kingdom. And a kingdom has a king. And a kingdom has the power. The kingdom has its army. And our army is the ages. The Bible says that when devil rebelled before, uh, before God, he took a land of the ages, whom we term today as demons. Devil took a land of the ages. But the rest are with God. But devil, remember, he is a creation, as you are a creation. So devil cannot be compared with God. That's why wakati Yesu Abba alikuwa hapa duniani, my paper ilikuwa ikimuona inamuulisa. Je, muwana wa mungu ulie juu sana, kwani umekuja kutuhukumu kabula wakati wetu huja wadia. Because devil is already judged. And his demons, they are awaiting the day to be manifested, to be thrown to, what they, to where they had been promised. But men, so long as you are alive, you are not judged. But you will judge yourself if you don't believe in your Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Your denomination, your religion may talk otherwise. But the truth is, Christ came for the salvation of man. Nothing else. He came for the salvation of man. He came to bring reconciliation back to God. That's the purpose. So, uh, the church of Christianity is a kingdom. We are a kingdom. And this kingdom ought to be feared. But we are bringing disgrace to this kingdom. But brethren, let's rise up. Let's wake up. And let our kingdom to receive the glory, the honor, the fear that we ought to. Why? Because we have been born by a lion. And a lion is a fierce animal. Why is, it not, not, why is a church is not being given the respect that it deserves? Because we are behaving, we are acting, we are doing like the world. But a time has come that we must change. We, had, we ought to have an about turn. And we move as per the lion. Jesus, the Son of God. Today, we will uh, look at a sub-topic. Bought for a price. We were bought for a price. To become a kingdom of God here on earth, it costed Jesus Christ more than almost that of all years to leave his paradise. Why do I say that of all years? Can I stay in this, in this world? 
13 years before he started his ministry, three years in the ministry, nine months in the womb of Mary, 40 days after his election. Those are almost after four years. He left his kingdom. Another three days in the grave. So when he was in the spirit for three days, he was not just in the grave. No, it was the body which was in the grave. But Christ, Christ had gone to the devil to take the keys of head and death in order to preach to the people who had died since the time of Adam. That's why he preached in the world for three years. He was in the grave for three years to go and preach. Maybe, and that's my view, Judas died before Christ. As John was born before Christ, Judas, and I've said this in my view, Judas went to the spirit before Christ. So maybe when Christ was uh, going to the spirit, maybe Judas was the first witness to say, this is the son of God whom I made him to be crucified. Believe in him. I have believed he is the son of man. Maybe we will meet Judas seated together with Jesus Christ because he believed in him. But that's my view. Uh, but for a price. The book of, uh, the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. The Bible says, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. But with the precious blood of Christ, a lamp without blemish, or defect. We were bought through the blood of Jesus Christ, which has no blemish, which has no spot. Holy blood, the blood that are, has no genes of the world people. Mary didn't get her pregnancy through the power of a human being. And Mary, it was not her decision. It was a favor. She was not the only virgin in the face of the earth. There are many virgins. It was not like those days to get a virgin today's hand. But those days, to get a girl who was not virgin, it was hard. I don't know what our uh, girls or our sisters are doing. They are giving the, themselves out to the world as if they are like a, a dumping site. Sisters, lights up. Build the reproach. What I'm saying is this. Jesus, it was through the power of the Holy Ghost that he was conceived. And that's why Mary, she was not the only virgin that we may bow and start worshiping her. No. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man will reach to my father. He didn't say that we go through Mary that he may make her to reach to Christ. No. Mary was just a human being like any other. On the cross, Jesus said, John, look to a mother. Mother, look to a son. He had no relationship now with Mary. Mary was just that away. He was, she was just like a cup or a plate. Whereby you don't give thanks to the plate or to the cup. You give thanks to the owner of the food or the drink. So we have no, no, no business with Mary to start worshiping her. This is a demonic preaching. We must we rise up and speak the truth of the gospel. Uh, we have been bought through the blood of Jesus Christ, which was shined on Calvary for the purpose of man. Nobody who went to God to ask Christ to come and save us. The Bible says, John 15 verse 16, Christ said, you didn't choose me, but I chose you. So you have to tow the line of holiness, a line of being just, a line of being a sister, a brother who is doing the will of God. For you didn't choose Christ. Nani ya limuendea yu biguni? Nani ya da kwa muku muisa mungu? Tupe mwa nawa tuokoe. Hakuna. No religion. No denomination. No level. No bishop. No human being. One day, God uh, gave me a dream. And after, as I got the dream, the dream was this way. Kodosi likuwa sikiede marishoni. Kodomoja ilikuwa ikiongoza. Baada ya muna nikaona simefika. 
Timeanza kukula nyasi ambayo ilikuwa ni nzuri sana, miti ambayo ni ilikuwa na kivuli kizuri sana. Nikaulisa kwani ile ambayo ilikuwa ikiogosa iko wapi? According to my mentality ya kwamba cause it is a leader ya pato kuwa ikikula pahali special. Mungu akaniambia kwamba my servant they are behaving as if they are not codos. But I'm called Bishop or Levet or whatever. We are bad chips. My responsibility as a servant of God, and you as a servant of God, your responsibility is to teach people to know their maker, not to know me. No, to know God. There's no time that Christ said that uh, I am your spiritual father. He said, our heavenly father. Jesus Christ died on the cloth. He shed his blood for your sake and for my sake. To be bought. We were bought with a price. It the cost of Jesus Christ. His life. His body. He suffered for you and for me. So it is not through gold or silver that we have been born again. That we may do what we want. We are not being born through our own ability, our own strength, that we may do as our bodies are willing, are desiring. No. We have to toe the line of holiness, a line of Jesus Christ. It a costed. Just imagine shedding blood for an evil person. We have not seen people dying for the, for the people who are evil. Though our for our fathers, our god parents, maybe some of our parents, they suffered for the nation. But Christ suffered for our eternity. And he didn't die that you may perish, but he died that you may have life and have it more abundantly. After Christ died on the cross, he made us to become what? Why was he dying? One, he was dying that you may become sons of the kingdom sons of the kingdom Christ didn't die that I may become a, a commodity of any human being a commodity of any religion a commodity of any but he died that he may become the sons of the high most God Psalms are uh, first Peter chapter 2 first Peter chapter 2 First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. The Bible says, But you are a chosen people. Number one, we have been chosen. It's what Christ said. As I had said, John 15 verse 16, that you didn't choose me, but I chose you. He is saying here that uh, you are chosen people. What is to be chosen? What is the favor? To be chosen. What an honor to be chosen. You have been honored by God. You have been chosen. Then after being chosen, you must do the will of him that has chosen you. Kenya's ambassador or American ambassador or ambassador from any nation. He or she cannot do what is the will, what is her will of his, or his will. Or the will of that nation that he had been sent to. But he or she must do as per the will of the nation that he or she has come from. We have been chosen from heaven. We are seated at the right hand of Jesus Christ. And that's why we must be doing the will of God. We are a chosen people. After being chosen, then we became a loyal priesthood. Take the word loyal. We hear just loyal family from Britain. Whereby uh, Queen Elizabeth is the queen of Britain. It is called a loyal family. Why? Because it is a recognized family. It's a well-respected family. It's a wealth family. It's a family, wherever they go, they are recognized. So we are loyal. We have been made loyal by the Almighty God. So we are not useless. We are not like any other person in the world. But we are loyal. 
So we belong to a kingdom. That's why I said we are a kingdom. And that's why because we belong to a kingdom, we are loyal sisters and brothers. We are loyal sons of the kingdom. We are loyal people who ought to be recognized wherever we go because we represent, we stand for him that is holy, who is in heaven and who is looking for, for our victory in life in all that we do in life. We are loyal people. A loyal priesthood. What is the work of a priest? The work of priest is to give sacrifices. So we are supposed to give sacrifices. And the sacrifice, the first sacrifice that God is willing to get from you or from me, not the money. That's how the gospel of today is being preached. Not the money, not the wealth, not the prosperity, but it is you yourself. Give your bodies as a living sacrifice. Brothers, are we together? We need to know we are supposed to sacrifice for Christ himself. He sacrificed his body to be crucified for your sake. That's why we should carry our cloth each and every day to be a sacrifice which is acceptable, which is holy, which is perfect, which is just, which is uh, 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 acceptable before the eyes of God. That's why we are a loyal priest. Hood. So we are loyal and then priest. This loyal person, you as a loyal sister, you as a loyal brother, you as a loyal woman, you as a loyal learning person, you as a loyal business person, you need to sacrifice not your wealth first. No. God is not interested with our wealth first. He is interested with you. Clyde didn't come in the world to bring wealth. Where else was still there? But he came to bring reconciliating power of man to God. That's why we are a loyal family, a loyal priesthood to give sacrifices and to the mighty God. Sacrifices of praise, sacrifices of worship, sacrifice of being holy, sacrifice of not engaging myself into corruption deals as how it is happening in our nation today, in the world at large. We need to sacrifice ourselves. No matter what other people are saying, sacrifice yourself that you cannot talk anyhow because you are loyal. You cannot expect a prince from Britain to meet him talking anyhow, behaving anyhow, dressing anyhow. They are, they have the way they talk, the way they dress, even the way they eat. The way that they conduct themselves, because they know they are loyal people. We are loyal and priests to the Almighty God. Let's pray. Our dear Holy Father, I want to say thank you. Thank you, God, because you have spoken to us in this afternoon. You have reminded us that we have been bought for a price. We have been bought with a holy, luscious, and perfect blood. That's why we have been commanded, as he was called as his holy, we should also be holy. Mighty Father, we have told us that we are loyal priesthood to sacrifice a holy sacrifice, starting with our own bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have made us your glory that you, we are your possession. And because we are possessed of the of our God, help us to portray you wherever we are, whatever we do. However, things gonna be, we live a holy life. Let's just, Father, I want to thank you because of my brothers and my sisters. I declare, as they have honored the of a God, you will honor them whenever they will go back to their places of work in the name of Jesus Christ. Anybody can glory who is gonna be sick because of the faith that they have in you, may they receive their healing. In Jesus' name. If they have sick people in their homes, we release the power of healing for they are healing in Jesus' mighty name. Let's just, Father, enable us to practice your word. That's what you told, uh, you told uh, Joshua. If you adhere to my command, you turn not to light or to the left. Whatsoever you do, you'll be successful and you'll be prosperous and successful. How I pray your glory that you're going to enable us not turn towards right or left, 
but you should look forth to a will that you may exhort us, that the world will fear us, because we are sons and daughters of the kingdom, a kingdom on our by, our king is a lion. We should portray the behavior, the conduct of a lion in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I release them with your blessings that under no sorrow in Jesus' mighty name. Let us, Father, may your name be glorified in all that we do. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I will say that God bless you because of how you have come. Maybe even uh, bring others tomorrow. And uh, God bless you. Brethren, it's a call from Almighty God. God is love and he loves you. He's concerned about you. Let's have a peaceful life and uh, a holy life that we may bless God. Know that we do. God bless you.